the Nine of Cups. And your underlying energy is justice. So this is about karmic balance and karmic scales realigning itself. And then underneath that, you have the Ace of Cups. So this is about, you know, closure in regards to love or closure in regards to um, what you want in love. This is also, it could be talking about the union, the union between one another. This is, you know, you know how the justice card comes up. It's like, oh, somebody could be getting divorced. It could be marriage too, believe it or not somebody's could this is a reunion this is a union of hearts but considering what we just saw it's especially when we saw the ten of you know the ten of the five of swords and the six, seven of cups five of swords talks about feeling trapped and ten of wands talks about talks about burdens talks about things not well things that are you know a burden in a way now your current state of being here is the fool so this is definitely a new beginning starting something starting fresh it's a new beginning all around this could be that you are starting something new or you know the partner starting something new you guys are for those of you that are single this is definitely you going out and ready to mingle it's leo season you got that you got that passion that really that willingness to go and find that partner it's so exciting so i do get this feeling here that there is this desire to try to just either desire to go out and do something new or more importantly this is a new beginning all around for everybody now your best path to follow your or your desired outcome has the seven of of cups here and i feel like you want to have a little bit more fantasy i think it's just like smack dab in the face real all right and it's like jesus all right god where's the fantasy where's the romance right there's no romance right now probably but there is you know at least not dreamy romance like i was talking about there is probably some romance here but the fantasy perhaps is something that you may want to return to um, or something in regards to just more of, you know, I don't want to say escape, but more of just like something that's, you know, that's dreamy and something that's, that's lovely and, and, you know, all those wonderful things. I don't think this is providing you a new options or perhaps for those of you that are single, you do want to start a new, or you do want to have more options. You do want to, you know, um, be able to pick, um, a, you know, pick out of the, the amount, you know, pick out of the assortment of, of cups here, really. But the thing that's keeping you from the seven of cups is this two of cups situation and considering what i was just saying about what's in your seventh house of you know of love and relationship or well, mostly relationships and interpersonal relationships of course and the relating of people you have two you have virgo there which is which is Vir venus is there and it talks about being realistic and i feel like it's the two of cups Perhaps you, there is this, there's like the two cups, the relationship aspect of the of finding something is kind of hitting a wall because what, the seven, the eight of wands is very clear. It's very straightforward. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. There's no delusions about it. There are wands coming at you, flying from the sky. Very opposite from the seven of wands, in my opinion, because this is not very clear. They show you options, but there's no guarantee that you're going to get what you're picking out of that. So I feel like... Wanting some, wanting to start something new, wanting to go ahead and you know pick, you know make a decision or you know have options available to you in regards to where where you want to take of love your love life or where you want to take the relationship, and I think it's about the real you know the reason why it's keeping there is because the relationship and typically I'd be like oh it's because you know perhaps the connection is so beautiful and so amazing that you that you know the connection that you have with an individual already is you know it's 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 so powerful and maybe you don't really want the options honestly here's what i feel like right it's like the reality of a relationship with someone is a burden okay because the justice card works with facts even if it is the union of hearts even if it is this, this is the right or wrong way karma is karma karma is karma is not confusing okay there's no confusion whether of, 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 of karma and there was just a plane that flat flew by so if there you saw that flicker of light it was because of it was, it was because of the um the plane flying by but the the two of cups is showing up here as this as this as this you know I feel like it's the relationship. It's like the real, realistic aspect of the relationship. Two people to feel the same way. There's nothing to, let's, let's not confuse it, right? It's two people that feel the same way. It's the connection between one another. Um, and it, yeah, it's awesome. It's nice, but it's not the lovers, right? It's not like it's a profound connection. This is just meeting someone, right? Maybe the whole thing is that you want to have options, but you haven't really felt like you connected with anybody. And that's, 
It's because of some sort of burden. Or perhaps the two of cups is that you may have someone already in mind that you feel something for. And you may be wanting to be free. You may want to end the connection and start something new. But you have this burden that's still there. I feel like with justice in the Ace of Cups, that I love that combination because that can mean that's a marriage, that's a new beginning in love, right? And that's the union of love, the union of someone. And it could be that this Two of Cups talks about a union with someone when you feel like you're, you know, you're, you know, since you're starting something fresh, starting something new. And the Ten of Wands here is that there is a burden here to that it's weighing, you know, weighing you down or just pretty much not completed yet this is a good situation that's trying to wrap itself up but the burden is still holding on tight maybe it's because of some things that maybe the last relationship that you had perhaps maybe felt like it was a little too heavy now for those of you that are in a relationship this because it, it could be that there isn't a lot of fantasy to get to there isn't a fantasy now because there is a need to be realistic in the relationship and the two of cups is feeling the same way about each other race right? what you feel and it's, well, it's more so of being able to connect with somebody one-on-one. -on -one. But the, like I said, justice is all about facts, okay? Realistic, being realistic, making decisions, and, you know, balancing karma, balancing the scales. So there's some balance that needs, that's needs to happen, especially in, in regards to the connection. Now, moving on, the, the best path to follow is the Three of Pentacles, which is very interesting, considering that... You know, if for those of you that are single, maybe you do have someone in mind. Maybe that, you know, maybe this isn't necessarily this desire to have options. Maybe it's just wanting to have a bit more romance. But I feel like right now it's it's not the romantic portion. It won't come until at least, well, at least after Venus gets out of Virgo. Um, and then I, probably after that, you know, we're going to go back into Virgo season. So there's more realistic looking, realistic stuff that we have to look at, paying attention to details, etc. But then... The Three of Pentacles is talking about being realistic, making realistic plans, looking at the future and seeing what's even there and real and tangible and, you know, that can honestly build something long term and stable. And I feel like right now that's what's missing, right? Is that can is that that uh, that dreaminess of the relationship, because honestly, everything's focusing very hardcore on what's real. And I feel like also, Pisces, to be honest, do you want honestly to focus on what's real? Yes, the romance is wonderful. Yes, it's beautiful. But I feel like you, in a way, you want something, you want something to show concrete stuff, some, some real tangible stuff because of the seven of wands. Oh, sorry, the ten of wands here. The eight of wands is going in your feelings, so you feel like things are moving very fast, moving very fast, okay? This progress being made, though, right? You feel like this progress being made in this relationship. Um, so, and I see it like this. It's very interesting because I'm like, mm, are you feeling like the situation is a burden because it's moving too fast and you're not sure if what you want and you want to be able to know what your decision is without being confused, all right? Well, not feeling like things are just amazing in the moment and not really looking closely at the details. Perhaps I feel like honestly the seven of wands, seven of cups in some way is actually saying that you perhaps want to know what you're picking and know the absolute depth of some sort of a situation within your connection so that way you can make clear judgment on what to do or clear or make a clear decision about what path you're going to take with this relationship since your emotions feel like you could potentially be feeling overwhelmed right now actually because the eight of wands is going so fast. Your hopes and fears, you want a commitment. You want someone that's going to be real with you. You want someone that's going to last. It's going to stay. Because the Seven of Cups, like I said, you're, there's no guarantee what you're going to get with an individual. There's no guarantee that this person's going to stay. You know, there's, there's no guarantee that this person's going to commit to you. But I feel like that's the thing, right? You may want to re, you may want to, you're not consummate, but you want to, like, unite in a way that shows and has proof and has, you know, that's, you know that's gonna say hey you are mine and you are with me and you are together we are together there's no it's answer buts about it i feel like honestly you want a realistic relationship you want a relationship you don't want to just connect with somebody and see where it goes you want to say hey you know what i'm actually looking for a committed relationship let's be serious okay i feel like you do want romance but i don't think you want to compromise a stable relationship for romance i don't know 
I feel like that's what's coming up because in your heart's because in your heart's desire in your outcome you have the Knight of Cups, which is the wish card, being content, feeling happy, and fulfilled, and that is a beautiful card. This reading is great. It's just that what we see here with the Seven of Cups and this Two of Cups situation and the Ten of Wands, those two in the, those two threw me off a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, but I feel like ultimately you want a relationship. You don't want to just you don't want to just pick any old thing. Yes, you want to be free and pick wherever you want, but I don't think you want a connection that's just kind of like a, we'll see where it goes sort of thing. You want to just be like, nah, I want to be with you. All right? Yeah, I think that's what's up. Because the Queen of Pentacles is in your hopes and fears. You want to commit. This is you wanting to be stable and committed. Okay? All right, Cap All right, Pisces. Have you seen a Capricorn? I was I was about to say Capricorn. So y'all seen a Capricorn? Let's go ahead and see what is going on in your whispers of love here. Okay, and it says rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental need to take breaks. So for those of you that have been working your behinds off, it is totally a okize to say, you know what, I ain't coming into work. <laughs> but no, seriously, the relax and uh, relax and um, uh, rest and, um, and re uh, relaxation is essential. It talks about maybe the situation is requiring you guys to break free to take a look at the situation a little bit closely to be able to make a decision that's really sound and makes sense and really resonates with what you really want. Very interesting that the rest and relaxation cards come up. For some of you, this may be just a, it's a straight up message to say, hey, you guys have been working quite a bit. This Ten of Wands is quite dense and it's very heavy to carry. It's totally fine to go ahead and relax. Okay, I'm not sure how many of that will res how many will resonate with you. How, how, you know, I don't know how much how many of you guys will resonate with that card, but hey, man, you guys got it this week, especially after the eclipse. Definitely, you okay? It's in your what, 12th house as well. That was in. Yeah, well, it's okay to be taking a break. All right, so let's see what with the wisdom of the oracle card is saying for y'all this week. A change in the wind. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I know what this is. I love this card because it's like talking about going with the flow. It's just kind of being in the moment and just allowing yourself to just be, right? Because the, the change in the wind is talking about a very weird transition and shift in things. Like, it's not certain where it all is going to head. And it's good not to make any concrete plans, especially since Mars is retrograde and Mercury is now retrograde and, and all that mess. You definitely don't want to make no decisions. You don't want to make no plans. You don't want to make nothing happen in the middle of a retrograde. Okay. I get everything's kind of clear, but this is a good time to reevaluate. So rest really pretty much means here and I'm getting it now. It's like, don't make any serious decisions. I get that you guys may want to connect with somebody. You may want to be in a relationship with somebody. You want to have a, you know, a good, healthy standing with a person. Don't make any decisions hardcore yet then nothing that's going to you know change your life in a drastic way like getting into a relationship or in regards to um you know getting married or doing anything that's going to change your life don't do anything like that right now i mean i would highly advise you against that because the change in the wind means that anything can go and if you have plans there's a good chance that there's a good chance that they will get demolished they will get destroyed or they will just not happen at all because of this adjustment this is a change this is a time in where everybody's feeling energies that's unfamiliar with them and they have to get familiar with that place find stability before they could get to, to committed or they can get things done and start making plans and doing whatever so right now changing the wind is like hold off on all the plans hold off on what you you know what you want to do right now it's good that you have the idea it's good that you know what you want or it's good that you're trying to figure that out or you're not sure if this is your outcome so you may not be sure what you want yet but take this time to help you figure it out because this these two go hand in hand right you don't know what you want well boom you find you you gotta have to just look closely and find out right and you have to look closely though that means you have, it's, it's definitely take this time now to rest and look read the paper 
look closely read the fine print right now it's Vir venus or virgo read the fine print right just make sure you're hitting every button and then when if it's stable mars retrograde mars no longer retrograde mercury's no longer retrograde things are like settling down to the point where you can touch touch you know the wood and be like okay it's not shaking there's no earthquake then you can make your plans then you can go ahead and make something happen but right now it's all about reevaluation. It's all about taking a rest. And I know you may want to go ahead and do something fast and make things happen. And you may, and someone else may be pressuring you right now. Don't let them pressure you to do anything, especially right now. Don't let them do that. 